Hey everybody, it's time for another crochet quick fix. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table, and we will stitch it up together. Hey everybody, welcome to a crochet quick fix. Today we're gonna make these little cotton car coffee cozies. Cotton car coffee cozy. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. These little things are great. They save the inside of your little coffee cup holder in your car from getting all gnarly and gross. You can plunk these things in there. They'll absorb any extra drips of coffee, even little bits of dust and stuff that may fall in. You can pull them out, throw them in the washing machine and the dryer because they're cotton and then use them all over again. So it's a nice little way to help keep your car neat and tidy and, you know, add a little decor to it at the same time. You need very little cotton yarn. I'm using a four ply medium weight yarn for this. You need around 10 or 12 yards, very small amount of yarn. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle. You might find having a measuring tape is handy too. And the hook I'm using today is a 4.5 millimeter, also known as a 7 in the US or the UK. You can also use a 4.25 millimeter hook, also known as a G or a 6 in the US. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. Our little car coasters are approximately two and a half inches in diameter or six centimeters, about six, six and a half centimeters. So that's the measurement you're going for all the way across. Take your cotton yarn. We're going to begin with a cinch circle. And once you've chained one to secure your circle, we're going to work eight half double crochet into it. So we're not chaining any extra chains. We're just going to work eight half double crochet into our cinch circle. Make sure you're working over top of that little tail. Once you have eight half double crochet worked into your little cinch circle, grab your short tail, cinch it up nice and tight, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet we made. Might be a little tight, so just get your hook in there. And that's it for round one. We're going to continue to increase now for row two. I'm going to work over top of my little short tail. We're going to chain one to begin and into the same place that we joined. So this little spot right here, we're going to half double crochet. So right into the same place that we joined our yarn. Work one half double crochet into that spot. Into the next seven stitches all the way around, you're going to work two half double crochet. So two half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches and I'll catch up with you near the end. Once you've worked two half double crochet into each of those seven stitches, that brings you up to this thing, which is the false stitch. So it looks like a real stitch. We're going to treat it like a real stitch, but it's not always a real stitch. This is a little thing that shows up when we're working in the round. We're going to work one half double crochet into that stitch and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet we made. And if you count them up, you should have 16 half double crochet all the way around, plus a nice even solid circle with no spaces. One more row of increasing. We're going to chain one to begin row three. We're going to half double crochet into that same stitch that we joined in. We're going to half double crochet once into the next stitch. And now for the next little while, <laughs> we're going to do this little repeater seven times. So you're going to work two half double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the stitch after that. So two, one, two, one, two, one. You're going to repeat that little thing six more times. I'll catch up with you near the end. You will have repeated that little repeater pattern of two half double crochet into the first stitch, half double crochet into the stitch after that, seven times in total. And then of course we've got the half double crochet we began with plus the one after that. And we're back round to that little false stitch. So we're going to work a half double crochet into it. And that will be our 24th half double crochet. You can join with a slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet you made. And that's it. You can fasten off. You do not need very much tail because we're just going to weave it in. Make that a nice tight knot. Flip it over and you can 
take your yarn needle and just weave that little tail in through some of those stitches across the back of that last row, back and forth a few times until it completely disappears. Once you've woven in the little tail, you can lay it down on a flat surface, press your hand down on it, maybe pull out the last little row a little bit. That will flatten it out. You can measure it if you want. You're going for a roughly two and a half inch or six centimeter diameter. Anything a little bit smaller than that is fine too because you want to be able to just pop it into that cup holder and be able to pick it up and wash it just as easily. And because we're using cotton, you can throw this in the washing machine and the dryer and it's not going to shrink. The colors shouldn't bleed and you'll be able to use it over and over and over again. These make great little gifts. They're nice little last minute gifts. It's not something everybody would think of, but helping keep your car clean and tidy is really nice. And you can of course make them in any color you want. I hope you enjoyed making this little quick fix with me and we'll see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week everybody. Bye! Hi everybody! Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!